you chose to sit over on this side with your wife, but you traveled here with Chantel, correct? Yes. Why did you choose this side instead of over here with Chantel? Because Dr. Phil, she's my wife. And I love her. Uh -huh. And I want it to work. Yeah. How do you feel about this one? Same thing. I love Chantel. <laughs> you, you've been with him for two years, and he's married. He's mar when I first met him, he was separated. He was, had his own condo. Kind of one bald guy to another. <laughs> Aren't you just kind of sitting around saying, how did I find two such gullible women? No. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> this isn't a game to me. She, it is a game to you. No, it's not. Don't give me that self-righteous crap. You are married to her, and she knows about her. You're with her, and she knows about her. And you got your cake and eat it, too. So you're ping-ponging back and forth between the two of them. When I was out with Chantel, I was separated from my wife, and we were contemplating divorce. I did not just walk into another relationship knowing that I was going to fall in love with somebody else. Did you give your wife two STDs? No, I didn't. My wife was unfaithful to me. She could have contracted that from the person she was with. He says that he's not ping-ponging back and forth and not playing you both. What do you think about her being involved in your marriage? It's disgusting to me. I don't see how someone could do that. If she knows we were trying to work things out, she should be a woman and back away. But she's constantly calling crying, just nonstop text messages whenever we're together. And I just think that's very selfish. I'm committed to my marriage, even though it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. It might not look like it, but when I said my vows to my wife, I meant my vows till death do us part. I don't know what you think is so funny. You know, people... I'm gonna leave. People laugh because... No, wait. No, if you're leaving, you need to go this way. <laughs> okay. Honest to God, I, I, I think I'm being punked. <laughs> he was saying, I, I don't know what you all think is so funny. Do you know why they're laughing? Yes, I do. Why are they laughing? Because this is a ridiculous situation. It, it is ridiculous <laughs> laughter. <laughs> they're laughing because they don't want to stand up on national television and say, holy <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> That's why they're laughing. I understand. But and we need to... And th these guys will come back. They, they, they make a laugh. Oh, here we, here we go. Um, but it's the... Why are you back? Why did you Dr. Back? Phil, I need your help. I, I wish the audience would stop laughing. This is serious. This is my life that we're talking about. I'm not playing a game. I'm not making up jokes. I don't know what's so funny. But this is my life that we're talking about. I came here today to, be, to get real answers and to find out some help from Dr. Phil. That's the only reason I'm here today. Well, since you're talking to them, I'll speak for them. May I speak for y'all? Yes. They're laughing because it's ridiculous. Yes. They're laughing. They're laughing because your absolute and utter lack of insight and narcissistic, self-serving is more than they can take. That's why they're laughing. And that should be a huge wake-up call to you. You it should is. thank them. It is, You Dr. should Phil. thank them for pointing out the ridiculousness of the rationale that you call a marriage. How am I doing? Good. Okay. Oh, I wanted to be sure I wasn't misquoting you. Um, they're not making 
they're not making light of this because it's funny. They're making light of it because it's ridiculously sad and they cannot understand why you are sitting around waiting for him to decide what happens with your life.